my name is Sierra and welcome to my channel Homemade Mathematics. Today's video is going to be three icebreakers that you can do on the first day that are specifically for math teachers. Two of these icebreakers might be familiar where one I completely made from scratch but all of them are adjusted specifically for the math classroom and for math teachers. All three of these activities also have modifications for where you could do them in the classroom, virtually, or even in like a discussion thread. On the first day of school, I typically do one of these icebreaker games and then some type of fun activity that's either has to do with math or problem solving. So if you wanna see a video on some of those activities or games that I do after the icebreaker activity, go ahead and comment down below. Otherwise, keep watching for the icebreakers. The first icebreaker I wanna talk about, you've probably heard before, it's two truths and a lie, or if you want a little more facts, um, there's also a version where it's three facts and a fit. But we're math teachers, so we're not gonna just play the game as normal. What we're gonna do is each of these facts or fibs have to have a number involved in the fact. This game is easily adjustable to in-person or virtually. What you could do is you could call on an individual student and have them guess. Another thing you could do is you could have the whole class participate by having that one student say they're either three or four statements and then having students vote with their fingers, right? The first one's the lie, the third one's the lie, so on. Um, and you could have the whole class then vote on which one they think is the lie and then have the student reveal the correct answer. I've also done this in small groups where you just share with your small group and then we report back to the whole class on you know what was one interesting fact you found out about someone in your group. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you could adjust this to make it fit whatever your classroom is going to look like this year. You could even do it in a discussion thread. You could have each student comment their three facts and a fib or their two truths and a lie and then have students comment on, you know, you have to respond to three students guessing their lie, or you have to respond to every student guessing their lie, however you want to do that. Another option would be to have those students send in their three truths and a lie, and then you could make a kahoot out of it, and you could say, Brian, so-and-so, and then have the four options, and they'd have to choose the lie. So now that you have a couple of options of how you could use these two activities, I want to show you an example of my two truths and a lie. So I only start out first as the teacher to give the students an example of what this could look like. Remember, we're in the math classroom though, so they all have to involve numbers. My three are, I have two sisters, I've lived in three states, and I have four dogs. Comment down below which one you think is the lie and stick around to the end to find out. My second icebreaker idea is one that I pretty sure I completely made up. I did kind of just come up with it in my head. I'm sure someone's come up with some version of this before. Um, it's not super creative, um, but it is, again, an icebreaker activity that involves numbers that you could use in your math classroom. This game is called More or Less. So you're going to let your students take turns saying some type of fact about themselves, again, involving a number. This time, the students in the room are then going to show how they compare, all right? You could do this lots of different ways. You could have signs that they hold up. Um, you could have symbols that they do, right? M more than, less than, equal to, or equal to, however you want to show it. One way you could do this virtually or in person is you could take turns having them state, state their fact and then having everyone in the classroom vote more or less, or it could even be equal. This is a great game to kind of see what students have some similarities to them. So for example, a student might stand up and say, I have two siblings. Then everyone in the room would either vote, you know, I have more than two siblings, I have less than two siblings, or equal, I have two siblings. Okay, it could also be things like, I play video games for one hour a day. They can then see who in their classroom is a gamer like them. This would also work great in a thread. You could just create a thread called more, less, or equal to where you explain that each student needs to make a statement about themselves involving a number, and then all other students need to respond with either greater than, less than, or equal to. 
And then my last idea is a very popular game, but we're gonna make it number related so that it's suitable for the math classroom. And that game is Would You Rather. Would You Rather is a very popular game where you give two options and then they have to choose which one they would rather do. But just like the other games, they have to involve numbers. You could do this a lot of different ways. You could come up with a list yourself. Um, you could turn it into a Kahoot and have students vote, which again, you could do in person or virtually. You could create a thread where you have um, all the different options and they have to choose. Or you could even let your students come up with them themselves. That is the way I really like to play. So I like to start, I like to have maybe like five or six would you rathers already planned in my head. And um, again, you can have a lot of different ways of how you vote or have, have your class decide. Um, when I did it in person, I really like to get movement and I, you know, have them move to one side of the room or the other. This year that might be a little difficult. So you might have them vote. I'd rather the first option, I'd rather the second option. You might have cards, however you wanna do that. But I like to start with five that I've already thought of myself, because then that way it kind of gives students ideas for what theirs could be to make up their own. So I'll usually start by, you know, doing the first few statements, ones that I've come up with, and then I'll open it up and say, does anyone have one that they would like to share? And then they have to kind of come up with those and all the students vote. So in a couple of examples I like to use for this um, is one based on school. So would you rather go to school five days a week for eight hours or four days a week for 10 hours? Okay, notice both ways it's gonna be 40 hours, but which way would you prefer? Right? Would you rather have one really good friend or a hundred you know, kind of acquaintance friends? Would you rather go boating for an hour or would you rather go hiking for an hour? Okay, they can have times in there, you know, however creative you have to get to get the numbers in there. That's fine. It's all just a part of getting to know each other and then throwing those numbers in there to make it relevant to the math room. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how to start your school year. I know a lot of us are coming from different places and are having different setups. So I hope I was able to explain at least one way that would work for you and your classroom setup. If not, go ahead and comment down below and I would love to give you some other suggestions of how you could use that icebreaker in your classroom. Again, if you would like to see some of the activities I do after one of these icebreaker activities, go ahead and comment down below and I will start working on that video next. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. I do have four dogs. I have lived in three different states, but I only have one sister, not two.